We are not alone, as it is claimed by a British UFO expert. What do you think about that? Section 51. Hi everyone, welcome on section 51, this is Dos Geek on YouTube, on the channel UFO section 51. I hope that you're fine, that everything is okay, and that maybe you already saw or already witnessed some new UFO sightings uh, since the last video on the channel. <laughs> so it is, if it is the case, please share this video with all the, com the community here on section 51. It's always a pleasure uh, to see you again on the, the channel. And we are here for a new subject, a new uh, a new story or a new uh, claim about the subject of UFO sightings uh, that I saw on the internet. So let's go right now in this new article. A British UFO expert claims photos are definitive evidence that we are not alone. So he said that knowing all the photos that are available for the moment um, and even the, the leaked videos that now we can see clearly uh, the, the, as you know the, vid the, the videos, the photos that were released uh, by the, the good different governments and especially the US government and all the US official authorities. New photos taken by a British UFO expert and um, so this is uh, in this case he's talking about his photos uh, that he took himself and these photos uh, finished to convince himself that uh, UFOs really exist. Um, these photos show what appears to be a UFO flying over Devon in England. So, uh, a little hello to all our British viewers and a special, special, um, special hello or special. Uh, As you, uh, uh, how you can, uh, how, how do you say in English, uh, coucou or hello, or yes, the, uh, or, uh, this is maybe, uh, no, I, I don't know, special hello or special, um, ah, I lost the word, so, sorry, uh, special tribute to my friend Oliver and his, his, his channel, his channel, um, Um, how it is called uh, Alien Addict Whew. that's difficult today huh? <laughs> I lost my words in English so let's go back to the, the article I was looking across di directly at the lovely green fields through my eye zoom binoculars when a glint of light instantly caught my eye as something metallic looking came out from a cloud John Mooner ex explained on his website I was completely glob uh, I was completely gobsmacked by what I was seeing. It was unmistakably a flying saucer with two black rectangular windows on the dome portion of the craft and four black openings along the bottom part of its structure. I could also seem I could also see some type of force field emanating around it. The photos taken with a Nikon or Nikon P900 digital camera appear to show a side view of the UFO as well as the underside of the mysterious flying object, which Mooner says flew off at a speed approaching 1000 miles per hour. I was so excited, I continued to monitor the area with the hope of sighting this incredible craft once again, Mooner added. Then, Minutes later, 
I actually got the chance to see it again when it swiftly shot out from the cloud. This time, however, I only captured the underside of the anomalous saucer, cra saucer craft. Mooner claims these new photos are definitive evidence that an alien presence is monitoring Earth. This is absolutely genuine, he said of the photos which can be viewed here. And uh, I am very curious and I want to click on the link. Structured metallic flying saucer captured. So he is writing his story here. I will put the, the link of the article in the, um, the description of the video. I had gone back to the Tain estuary to carry out further investigations of the area as I have had a lot of sightings of anomalous objects around there just lately. The tide was out and I sat down in my favorite spot and began to skywatch and see what I could actually capture this time around. And after sitting there for about half an hour, I finally, I finally saw something strange. I was looking across directly at the lovely green fields through my eye zoom binoculars when a glint of light instantly caught my eye as something metallic looking came out from a cloud. And the, the following of the story is talking about the UFO sighting. I was so excited and I continued to monitor the area with the hope to, of sighting this incredible craft once again. Then, minutes later, I actually got the chance to see it again when it swiftly shot out from the cloud and flew over the estuary where I got a couple more shots of the saucer as it made its speedy escape away from view. So we have the photos here. This one. We cannot click, uh, cannot be more uh, close. Maybe like this, no, no, talk, no. Okay. So I have to sign up to the website to have more photos. You are free to do it if you want. Uh, I will put the link, as I said, in the description of the video. So uh, as you can see in the photo, it, it, it seems to be a UFO indeed. But uh, maybe, uh, as he says, it is a metallic UFO. But uh, I can't say anything more about this claim. I can't confirm. I can't confirm you that he is right when he says it is a UFO or something that the that wouldn't have a human nature, or that, that wouldn't be um, human-made. Earlier this month, Mooner was one of several people who was in attendance at the Torbay Air Show near Paynton, Devon in England, who saw a UFO appear to join the Royal Air Force IRF Red Rose in the sky. They were in formation when suddenly, without warning, a black anomalous object <coughs> sorry, a black anomalous object shot right through the middle of their formation at terrific speed, said Mooner about that UFO sighting. Another spectator, Emma Smith, also reported I was going back through my red arrows photographs that I took near Painton Pier at around 5.45 p.m. on Saturday and I noticed a black speck fairly close to the aircraft. I zoomed in and couldn't quite believe what I was seeing. In May, Mooner captured a photo of a UFO trailing a IRF helicopter. It really is quite strange and perplexing, Mooner told. Okay.
Maybe I can... I can download the picture. Ok. Ok, I will show you. Like this. Can you see the picture here? Uh, so the UFO is right in the middle of the picture. And I'm going to zoom in. So indeed, it seems to be a flat object with some kind of round shape, with a kind of, of dome on the top and the dome just below. I can't go closer. No, no, no. Where is it? I lost it. It was there. There. Okay. That's the maximum I can have. Okay. So guys, were you at the same time in May or in June uh, in Devon in England? And uh, did you uh, also witness the same kind of UFO sighting in the area? If it's the case, maybe you have some pictures uh, or maybe you can confirm uh, that it was the same UFO sighting, the, the same phenomenon that you witnessed, uh, 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 that the, than the, the same uh, claim that uh, made by the, this uh, UFO expert, that by this photograph. Or if you are living in the, in the area of Devon, can you confirm that this is not the first time that there is some UFO sightings uh, that uh, uh, the British uh, people, our British viewers, our British um, friends are used to UFO sightings in this particular area. Is it a hot spot for UFO sightings? I would be curious to know. So please, if you want to react, if you liked this video and this news, uh, you are invited to comment, to put your reactions in the comments of this video. Uh, you can uh, ask your questions or you can uh, give me your reaction. What do you think about this UFO sighting? Do you think that it is indeed a UFO, a real UFO, that it is an extraterrestrial aircraft or spacecraft? Or is it something that we can easily explain a natural phenomenon or by maybe uh, a simple airplane that was mistaken as a UFO? Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, uh, wait, um, while waiting for the next video, you can like this video, you can share it, you can subscribe to the channel if you are not for the moment a subscriber. Uh, thank you for your help, for your comments, for your likes, for your support. This was Dos Geek on Section 51. Keep your eyes wide open. Uh, don't forget to watch regularly, constantly at the sky to watch the stars, to be curious, to open your eyes. And meanwhile, the new video, live long and prosper.